Hi everyone. Today's group learning is about commas. So what is a comma? A comma looks like this and you draw it on a line. It is a type of punctuation mark that tells us to take a short pause when we are reading. This pause is not as long as with a full stop. Using commas. A comma can be used to change the meaning of a sentence or to separate items in a list. Today we will look at how commas are used to separate items in a list. Look at this sentence. The fruit bowl has oranges and bananas and pears and kiwis and apples in it. What do you think is wrong with this sentence? We've used and quite a few many times. Taking out the and. Let's take our fruit bowl sentence and remove and. Do you think this has improved it? The fruit bowl has oranges, bananas, pears, kiwis, apples in it. We do need to put one and in the place, in the, in the sentence. Where do you think it should go? We need to put an and between the last two items in our list. So it will become, the fruit bowl has oranges, bananas, pears, kiwis, apples in it. The fruit bowl has oranges, bananas, pears, kiwis and apples in it. We have now improved our sentence by only using one and. But now we need to separate the other items in our list to avoid confusion. This is where commas come in handy. The fruit bowl has oranges, bananas, pears, kiwis and apples in it. A comma is put between each item in the list, but the last two items always have and between them, and no comma. Here are some other examples of how to use a comma in a list. The cockerel's feathers were brown, green, orange and blue. The road was busy, noisy and full of activity. Things to avoid. Don't put a comma before the first item in your list. And don't put a comma in a list of just two items. It isn't needed. Can you add commas to these lists? Jake bought an apple, two bananas, some sugar and a pineapple. Where would your commas go? Number two. In Mary's cupboard there was some bread, some butter, a bone and a can of dog food. Have a think. Were you correct? Number three. Tony had two marbles, a piece of string and a stone in his pocket. Where might the commas go in this sentence? Did you get them right? And number four. At the circus, Ryan saw a clown, a lion, a juggler, dancing horses, a trapeze artist and an acrobat. Without commas, it's quite a tricky sentence to say. Well done. Look at these shopping lists. Can you write a sentence using commas to list what each person is buying at the shops? What kind of food do you think they're making with what is on their list? Did your list look like these? Which sentence uses commas to correctly separate items in the list? Let's test to see what you've learned. A. I will take my raincoat, my umbrella, my packed lunch and my camera. B. I will take my raincoat, my umbrella, my packed lunch and my camera. Or C. 
I will take my raincoat, my umbrella, my packed lunch and my camera. The answer is A. Let's try another. Tigers, lions, leopards and cheetahs are all kinds of big cats. Or B. Tigers, lions, leopards and cheetahs are all kinds of big cats. Or C. Tigers, lions, leopards and cheetahs are all kinds of big cats. Which sentence do you think uses the commas correctly? Well done, it's B. Can you describe each of these animals using a list of three adjectives? Don't forget to use your commas and the word and between the last two words. Thank you.